Hello, welcome to another video. Many times it is important to be able to kind of get an animation of what we are doing to explain to an audience in a presentation. And in CSC Studio, there are several features depending on the problem type and the type of solver you're using to make animations that would come in handy when explaining to an audience. So I'm going to go through some of the different solvers and just show what is um, possible and then in some in later videos I'm going to be doing um, specific animations, um, solver specific animations. So for example for the Wakefield solver you could get something like this which shows the um, particle be moving through the cavity and then you see the Wakefield that is generated as it's as the particle be moved through the cavity. So in a later video, I'll be demonstrating how to do this. But then, in this video, I just go, um, I just do an overview of what is possible and the different ways you could get animations of your simulations. So, um, for the animations, we usually want to monitor a particular. Um, quantity and most of the time it's your field your field value so you could also monitor voltage so currently i mean the wake field solver so if you go here you see setup solver solver type wake field and then in the wake field solver we have field monitors if you tab onto simulations you have field monitors and then here you could have your field monitor your voltage monitor current monitor or you could put a field probe um, a probe would be just a point at this point and then you monitor what goes on there. So for the field monitor, which I mostly use, you have the option to monitor your E field, your H field, your far field and different other options. Now you could either monitor for a particular frequency or you could monitor for the total runtime of the simulation. This is for weak field simulation and which is um, in time domain and then you have that you run it for a particular wake length, which is a particular time. So you could um, actually um, record all the fields. So your all all of your wake fields, not a field for a particular frequency. You record all of them for the duration of the simulation, and then you could also record for a sub volume, and then play around with this to see um, what you get. So that's for the wake field simulation you could also have the voltage i mean depending on what you want to do and then you would have to click on the um, path so you would have to define a path and i um, mean later videos would um, look at how this is actually done in this video just showing what is possible so i'm not going to be defining that um, your current monitor the same and your field probe then you define um, a location and then you also define the field that you want to um yeah study um monitor so that's for the wake field solver these are the only options available if you should go to let's say your pi peak solver then you have some more options so you have your field monitor which gives you pretty much the same um options as the wake field solver and in addition you have your peak position monitor so you have your peak position monitor, phase space monitor, 2D monitor, and then you have these other options to be able to monitor your field. And then what this creates in the end is kind of a frame by frame um, picture of um, the evolution of your simulation. And then all this is composited into a video and then you have a nice animation. Now you could also go to, I think, your particle tracking solver. I think that should have the same as a peak. So you have 2D, you have a different kind of monitor. So your 2D monitor and then this, and then you do not have the field monitors here. Then you could also, let's look at eStatic Solver, what we have. You have monitor and volume. So depending on the problem type and solver you're using, you have different options. So you have, um, you do not have any field monitors here for your Eigenmode Solver, but then when you're done with your eigenmode solver and then you have your results let's say i have this for example so i have the different fields which are resonating at particular frequencies i could go to animate fields and then in the animation i click down and then i say video so i do not have monitors in your wakefield solver 
and um, let's look at another one just the last one let's see frequency domain solver you have your field monitors so when you click on this you have the same option and then this is actually your monitors are expanded here to have pretty much the same field monitors as the weight field solver and the particle solver so that's it and then from this you could create um the videos and i would be doing i'll be doing another video that shows okay some specific solvers how you save the video but in this video just as a demo for example let's say i want to save uh, mode 18 now if i should animate this you see how the field changes unless i want to save this as a video i would go to animate fields and then save video and then I could select the different format. I could select there are different formats that are here. Um, and then you could select um, the stop degree. So for this, um, since you have a 360 degrees, you could select 180 because then it um, repeats. Or yes, 180 should be a full wave. I think I think it depends on your yeah 180 degree should be a full wave if I'm not mistaken. But then to be safe, you could just put um 360 360 degrees. That's that's two pi. Is it two pi or pi? Okay, now I can't really think of it. Uh, but then yeah, try and see. So and you could also change the video size and yeah, that's it. If I should go ahead and save this, save video. And let's see. Um, so I can also choose the location. So I'm going to change the location to let's see, CSC Studio, let's see videos and um, animations. So I'm going to save this here and then just say for um, 50 degrees. Now this is going to okay, maybe not take a while, but one thing you notice is that when you are saving, you can't use a studio when you're saving an animation so you have to wait until it finishes saving before you can go to some other tabs or use csd studio for some other thing so it's done and then if i should go onto my folder i see the video Now you could also change the frame rate and play around so you see that it's pretty i mean it, it looks slow maybe you want the simulation to go a bit faster you could play around with the frame rate which you see let me to minimize this you could play around with the frame rate you could increase you could increase the frame rate or reduce it depending on um what you want so you could tweak these around to get um what you want for the video so that's that and then basically when you use field monitors what you get is something like this a field a field um profile and then when you try when you click on the field you animate this and um you can save so for example using a field monitor i get such which is um the electric field when the particle so this is for the wake loops over when the particle moves through the cavity and then this is really the field and you can see i also have the fields and then um, i can also click save video here so it's the same thing so that's how you pretty much create animations but then um specific animations require specific setups depending exactly on what you what exactly depending on what exactly you want to do so um in, a, in future videos i'm going to be creating um solver specific animation so stay tuned and um yeah see you next video